What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to use semaphores. But in this case, we are going to use unnamed semaphores. Because if you remember the other day in the other video, we talked about semaphores, but these ones had a name. In this case, we don't need a name, but what we need is, uh, is that we need shared memory. That's why I explained shared memory before this. So yeah, let's talk about uh, semaphores without name. Like, <laughs> this video is going to be shorter because it is exactly the same, but it's just that the semaphores don't have name. <laughs> so we just declare, uh, well, for these semaphores, you need to use uh, shared memory because they have to be somewhere we, in which you can access by both processes or all the processes. Because in the named semaphores, you have the name. And if you try to open this in one process, you are going to get the semaphore because it's in the operative system. This is, yeah, in the operative system, but it doesn't have a name and you don't have a way to access to that semaphore. So this is why you used uh, shared memory, because here you store the semaphores and in this way you can access those semaphores uh, yeah, uh, in both processes. So we are doing exactly the same uh, that we did in the, previous, in the previous video, which is that the child prints a 1 and a 3 and the father prints a 2 and a 4. So we want this to be in order and that's why we use the semaphores. Both sems are stored, uh, well stored, like they, they have been initialized with a zero value and you can check here that the arguments that you need in order to use sem init, which is the function that you need to use in order to initialize an un unnamed semaphore, is just a pointer to the semaphore, so the direction of this variable, then if it's zero, it means that this semaphore is going to be shared by, by threads. But if it's one, it means that it's going to be shared by processes. You can check that, as always, in the man page of, uh, yeah, of the semaphore. So if we put here man sem in it, you can check here if you go down that, yeah, that be shared refers to if it's one uh, process or threads or whatever. So yeah, we are basically doing that. After that, you use the same functions. You use some wait and some post and they do the same. Like they move down and move up the value. And in order to close this, only you don't need to close the semaphores. You just need to destroy them. So that's why here the child doesn't do anything with the semaphores. Like it does this, but I mean uh, closing them, like they don't close the semaphores. Only the father, which is the last one uh, that uses the semaphore, uh, destroys them. So yeah, <laughs> it is much more simpler, but the thing is that you need to use the shared memory. So let's compile this. And in order to compile, you you, you need to, to use the same uh, flag that we used in the previous video. So let me do this. And as you can see, uh, it's not working because we need to use the minus p thread. Oh, well, sorry. Minus p thread is going to say error because we are using shared memory and we need to use minus lrt. And now it has been compiled. Now we can uh, execute this. <laughs> and as you can see, it works. So unnamed semaphores are pretty good because they are very simple, but the thing is that you need to use shared memory. So this depends on you. Like, do you want to use named semaphores or do you want to use unnamed semaphores? That depends on you. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understood how to use named semaphores, unnamed semaphores. And if so, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.